welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be creating this look that i'm wearing right now using makeup obsessions mood palette so if you haven't seen what it looks like on the inside this is what it looks like on the inside it's very neutral color uh, color tones with some pops of color in the shimmers overall it's a stunning palette blends out amazingly as you can tell uh, for my lips i went in with p louise lipstick in the shade free spirit so yeah if you want to see how i got this look keep on watching okay so using my mood palette by makeup of sessions if you don't know what it looks like on the inside this is what it looks like on the inside it does come with a mirror i'm just bending it backwards so the light don't reflect back into the screens so we're going to be focusing like on a more of a deep neutral look again today um, i'm not sure what's gotten into me i'm loving neutral eyes at the minute so yeah um someone send help <laughs> oh got a headache coming okay so my first brush i'm going to take is my jessup 230 brush oh <coughs> and i'm taking the shade drama i really need to figure out how to like insert and i'm popping that shade onto my outer corner i haven't played with makeup revolution eyeshadows in the longest time ever yeah i have a fair collection of their palettes i've got some uh, makeup obsession palettes i've got um the pro palettes not all of them just some of them i donated quite a few um away i just kept my favorite ones um the reloaded palettes i still got those i got the the animal palettes okay so i'm not worried about it looking messy because I'm just not worried about it to be honest. Okay, so taking a, uh, a smaller brush. This is a Be Perfect BPE15. And I am going to take the shade Juicy. And we are going to blend that first shade out. And I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner. just about getting there so as it goes down i'll stop i'm hoping you can see what i'm doing do you like my nails i'm not sure about them to be honest i put them on just before doing this video purposely for this video like some christmasy nails and i'm not sure Let's put it this way. I'm not bothered if they're going to pop off. So I've got washing up to do after my recording. Um, so I'm not overly bothered if they pop off. I got them from Timo, I think. There we go. So that is that. So on a larger fluffy brush, now I'm taking the shade Nude. Actually, no, we're wiping that off. <clears throat> okay, so on a larger fluffy brush, I'm taking the shade Vibe. Blending that shade out even more. This time I am putting it into my inner corner. Now, I'm not sure whether I might do a matte lid. So, get a packing brush. I am taking a two colour 06. Let me shave that. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, so I'm taking the shade Sweet. I'm not quitting my crease or anything, I'm just going to go straight in. Okay, just back in with our first brush and first shade. Okay, second brush and second shade. Just going to go back in with. Okay, 
back in with the third shade and third brush. Okay, so now I'm going to get a smaller packing brush and I'm taking the shade Hustler just a little bit and I am popping it between the two shades on the lid. You can technically skip this step, I just wanted to use the shade because it looks absolutely stunning in the palette. Gorgeous. Okay, so I am going to go in with liner. So I'm using Precision as a formula eyeliner. Okay, so now I've done my liner, as you can tell, and I'm taking the shade Boss to set it. Okay, dokie, so that is done. I'm going to be skipping primer again in this tutorial. I will use primer, I promise. Uh, but I'm skipping it because I'm hoping to do two more videos after this. Um, so I'm just going to clean up my fallout. Okay, so that is done. Foundation. I'm going to use my iconic London foundation today. This is in the shade Cool Light. So, so you got to give it a good shake before you use it. I can feel that falling. Okay, so that is that done. So now I'm going to go in with my bronzer slash contour. And I'm using my Be Perfect um, bronzing stick. This is in the shade Caramel. This bronzing stick is absolutely amazing for like a sort of touch of bronze to your face. A glow, uh, not a glow. You know what I mean, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to use um, vitamin, the Beauty Crop Vitamin Babe Concealer. I'm going to use 5N this time. Last time I used 2.5C, I think it was. Okay, so that's all done. Look a little bit tanned. Maybe I should get a lighter shade in the foundation. <laughs> Okay, so just because they're left on my table, I should actually change them out. But I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Press Powder and Bronzer again today. And like I said, I should actually change them out. I probably, should, I probably would do that for my next uh, two looks. Okay, so that is all done. So now I'm going to do my baking before my blush. I am aware I haven't done liquid blush, but as you all know, I'm not a blush person, so... I will more likely skip it than apply it, to be honest. Let's, let's just be honest here. Okay, so I'm just taking my Beauty Crap um, Loose Powder. This is in the shade Banana Light. And I'm literally like just baking everywhere that I've concealed. Okay, again, just because it's already on my table, I'm taking my Be Perfect Lockdown 2.0 Press Powder. And my fluffy brush, my trusty fluffy brush by Spectrum. This is the A01, I think. Yeah. So blush, I am taking my Makeup Revolution Quad Blush Palette and I think I'm going to be taking probably this shade just here. I don't want to put my nail in it because I will destroy it. So this this one just here. Um, I'm just going to take that on an angled brush I think. Now I'm doing something extra. I'm going to go in with highlighter. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild Press Highlighter. This is in the shade Precious Petals. As you notice, I haven't gone in with um, Set and Spray. Because I want it to be nice and subtle. I don't want it to be obvious. Okay, so that is that done. done. Another lash line. T 
taking a smudger brush and I'm taking the shade Drama and I'm going to line my lower lash line from outer corner to about like a third away in so probably about here just like that no, no further than that so I'd say probably like the brush width just a little bit longer than the brush okay and that is that done so I want to find it so I'm taking the original brush that we used so this is the Be Perfect BPE15 taking Juicy tapping as much of that excess off as possible and then as you can tell, look up into the mirror and to blend that shade okay so once that is done we go to the the brush you use for it so we're taking the shade vibe on the same brush which is be perfect bpe 14 something telling me i've done what i've done last I mean, one of my last videos and i forgot to read the name out as i uh, used the brush oh it is if that's happened i'm really sorry I always get so caught up with doing the look that I just like lose lose track of um, what I'm doing. Okay, so my lower lash line is obviously neutral. So to keep it neutral, I'm going to go in with a brow curl liner. And then while I'm doing this, I'm going to finish the rest of my face. So I shall be back when it's all done. See you in a minute. So yeah, I have completed my face. So this is a very neutral makeup. So I suppose you can get away with saying this is a no makeup makeup look, I suppose. I went in with a brown lipstick by P. Louise. This is their Free Spirit. Lovely nude brown. I was expecting it to be a bit darker, to be honest, but it's absolutely stunning. It, I think it goes with the eyes really well. So as a recap, we used Makeup Obsessions uh, Mood Palette. Again, if you wanted to have another look on the inside, this is what it looks like on the inside. I was going to go in with a bit of a sparkle on my inner corner slash lower lash line. But I thought, no, it looks really cute how, how it is, actually. So it's nice, quick, simple makeup, something you can do. You, you can skip lashes if you don't want to wear lashes. Um, I just put them on because I, I wanted to at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, you could like totally wear this to go to Tesco's. I would wear any makeup to go to Tesco's or Asda, you know. But yeah, I'm going to go take some uh, photos and I'll see you in the next video. That's it for me. Bye. Take care.